is Karen in the Lake Stamper here in Grand Blank, Michigan. How's everyone doing today? Well, I have to tell you, I had such fun making a mini slimline card that I wanted to make a mini slimline envelope. And so today, I'm just going to show you how to make this envelope. It's a quick video. It won't take long, and you can keep it in your playlist, all right? So this is for your mini slimline card. So we're going to move up my little baby card here, which I just love. <laughs> and we're going to get some Whisper White or any other color. You can use anything you want, but I thought let's use Whisper White. Uh, the first thing's first. Uh, on the long side, you can cut to your heart's content. It's going to be at 8 inches, all right? Eight inches. Let me make sure you're okay. I can see you. So eight inches, and then turn it at. It's already at eight and a half. Okay, uh, the paper is already at eight and a half to begin with. Perfect. Now at the eight and a half length, which is where you're at right now, what you want to do is you want to score. Your first scoring is going to be at six inches. Okay. Six inches. Your second scoring is going to be at two inches. All right, that was at the eight and a half. Now you're going to turn this over, turn this around, and you're going to go to the eight inch side. Okay, just make sure you're at the eight inch. All right, you only turn it once. Uh, now you're going to score at one half. Just find that one half. And I really try to, you know, I don't, I didn't grab my scoring tool, but you can use your trimmer. And then six and three quarters. All right, six and three quarters. Perfect. All right, <laughs> I got that done, right? Okay, so now you've got all your score lines where you need them, all right? So what I like to do sometimes is just to fold this so I can see the lines better and you'll be able to see them better, okay? So let's just do a quick, a quick fold so you can see where the lines are located and they'll show up a lot better so you can see them. And this little half inch is the hardest because it's a little baby one. There we go. And then this side, here we go, there we go. Now, you should be able to see all of the lines, okay? Always we wanna get rid of the, the corners, okay? And we wanna make a wedge cut, these corners right here. So let's grab our scissors. And the very first one is my little half inch guy. I'm going to go straight. And I'm going to make a wedge. All right. There we go. Make a wedge and then cut. And same on this side. Cut here. Make a wedge or V or whatever you want to call it. And it's real easy. It's just those four sides we're going to cut. And that's it. Okay. Now you've got your mini already ready. Now, what, what I like to do first off is I want to take my, these bigger sides here and I like to do another wedge just like that, okay? You don't have to if you don't want to. If you're in a hurry, especially if you're in a hurry. I, I just think it looks a little bit more polished. Totally up to you though. Okay, see? See how that looks? That looks darling. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna put some tear tape. You want something strong so this can go through the mail. So what I usually do is I Put it just on just on one flap. Don't put it on both because you'll you'll you will uh, close up your whole envelope. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. Okay, and then put in this little baby one here. Perfect. 
This is so easy, guys, it really is. And then we're gonna put one here, but we're not going to shut it. Perfect. Okay. This is so cute, isn't it? Now, before we do anything, you wanna turn it over, all right? This is a good time to actually do any stamping before you go and fold it up, okay? So just take your uh, little pad or whatever you like to use to stamp with a photopolymer. Um, I'm going to use You've Got Mail or Happy Mail. <laughs> I always think of that movie, you know? <laughs> You've Got Mail. AOL people, come on! <laughs> So, um, what's really fun is you can also color, uh, or you don't have to at all, but this is so darling, I thought, why don't we put the Happy Mail where the stamp would be, and you can put this on other stuff as well, you don't just have to do it on the snail mail, on the snail mail. Um, but wouldn't that be cute? You don't. You might have to hide the, the little uh, envelope here, but you could put a stamp there and that'd be so darling, right? So... That's what I usually like to do before I go and put my little my little envelope together. So let it dry. And now let's go back to putting this together. So take your tear tape and just uh, get it loose. Perfect. Perfect. And again, another nice quick bone fold is really imperative. And then over here. Okay. I love when it takes off and then it goes right back on. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then just do a nice quick bone fold there too. Nice. So isn't that darling? Look how cute that is. Now, if you've got time on your hands, a great thing to do is to take some paper, any leftover paper you have, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, looks about, okay, you know, about one and a half inches or so. Um, let's just do that. Oops, that looks crooked, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we don't need all of it. I've got leftover. You can use it, I just thought, well, I'll do the hearts, why not? Um, and all I'm gonna do, really, it's so, so nice. You can use any of your paper that you're using for whatever, okay? Um, and decorate the outside of your envelope, and then you've got it all ready, and it looks darling. So I just line it up with the outside of this flap, and then see, all we have to do is cut it down to size. So, I'm just gonna cut this down. And there we go, and one last cut. Isn't that darling? <laughs> I just think that's so cute. So cute. So now, your little baby envelope, your baby mini slimline goes right, right in here, quick as a whistle, and bam. And look how cute that fits in there. Look at that. So I just thought, how cute is this? It's, and it's nice and firm. This paper is firm, so it makes it go right in the mail. I've got a lot of embellishments on this, but it's um, nice and flat when it goes in. So it's mostly the envelopes. But isn't that darling? So if you, if you um, are into making some mini slim lines, also some of your envelopes that you might have do fit the mini slim line if you don't feel like making this. And uh, it, in fact, I've got a, a nice uh, A2 size here that will fit this, okay, if you don't want to ever make a mini slim line. But if you do and you want to put a little bit more personal touch on it, this is the way to go. <laughs> If you're in the mood to make a mini slimline card, this is the way to go. It makes it so cute and personal, and it's a, a darling little card and envelope to make and send to your loved ones and your friends. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on how to make a mini slimline envelope. Hope you have a great day. Happy crafting. Chat soon. Bye-bye.